Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I can't wait till I can talk about something else, but this stuff keeps happening every day. But there is finally a little bit of good news for especially for those sailing on Holland America's Westerdam. So as you all know, Holland America Westerdam on February 1st decided to pick up 800 more passengers from Hong Kong. It was like the next day that Hong Kong was put on the travel ban for restrictions along with Macau and mainland China. And they knew this was going to happen, but they still decided to pick up passengers from there as well, including, you know, 85% of those people being picked up in Hong Kong were from China. So it, uh, it wasn't like it was all North Americans sitting there waiting to get on the ship. The ship set sail and uh, first port denied. Okay, not so bad, first port denied. Second port denied. All other ports denied. So their 12 day cruise has turned into just sailing around between the Philippines and Japan, even their final port, it was said to everybody, remember we reported, that they won't be landing anymore in Shanghai, that they will be going to Yokohama Harbor in Japan for their final disembarkation day. If you were taking the next cruise, you had to fly there instead of to Shanghai. If you had hotels in there and airlines booked through the airline, that they would refund you. However, if you booked all these on your own, that's up to you and hopefully you had travel insurance that would cover this. Uh, at the time though, a lot of airlines and a lot of Hotels, because of the travel warnings and the bans, were allowing people to cancel at no charge. At least that was some, you know, good news for the people who had to move and everything. But now, as for that ship, the ship was stuck out at sea and is still out at sea to this day. Uh, they have enough food and provisions till the end of the cruise, uh, which is scheduled for the 15th of February. The 15th of February cruise, by the way, has already been canceled and they are looking at future cruises and paying attention to what's going on and they say that you never know those cruises might be cancelled as well they will let passengers know as soon as possible so people are not stuck and can make their cancellations whatever they need to do or rebook or whatever they want to do good news for the people on the western dam right now is that they have been possibly given permission to disembark at a port next week now, I got to stress, there are no confirmed cases of anybody on board having any of the sickness at all. So that's not the issue. They're not under any kind of lockdown or anything like that. Um, it was just the scare. And with what happened with the Diamond Princesses and what's going on with the Dream cruise ship, they didn't want to take any chances and every port was just canceling once they stopped in Hong Kong. So that at least is some good news. Although Holland America is not saying when that will happen or where that will happen as they're still in negotiations. I have a feeling that cruise port is waiting to see that 12, 10 to 12 day period before approving and having no cases on board because of the incubation period. So if somebody does come down sick on board, then that port might just disappear for disembarking. So hopefully for the passengers on board, nobody comes down sick, everybody's okay. Holland America, if you also remember, were refusing to cancel people's cruises to refund their money uh, before this. And now, and also pick up those passengers to begin with, now they are offering full refunds and future cruise credits to all those on board. Um, they have been providing free phones and free internet. Um, quite frankly, they should be providing free drinks as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where they are. So that decision that they made to stop in Hong Kong that one last time where they were, didn't want to lose the 800 passengers worth of money, 
They just lost 2,000 passengers worth of money instead, plus many more incendiary causes, plus some very bad PR. Uh, so not a great decision by whoever made that decision at all, period. <laughs> so not a good move by Holland America at that point. Back to the Diamond Princess now that is still uh, in Yokohama Harbor in Japan. We went up to 64 cases uh, yesterday. That has risen up another five cases to 69 cases now on board as well. So it, while it has slowed down since that initial time when they hit 41 cases in one day, uh, it is still having more people come down day after day after day. Now, the people on board are still taking this with a very, you know, good good humor, most of them. Uh, they're saying the princess staff and crew have been amazing and are, te you know, they're, they're going very, very well. They're te treating everybody nicely. They are doing whatever they possibly can for everybody. They will go out of their way to help them on board. That's the majority of what I'm hearing. Of course, you're gonna hear one or two people saying, oh, it's like a prison and blah, blah, blah. Well, yes, it is. You're quarantined, of course. <laughs> you know, you're stuck on a ship and uh, it's not a luxury anymore. So yes, but as far as the way the princess has been handling it, they say they've been informed, they've been kept aware of what's going on, they have been treated well, and Princess staff is doing whatever they can, which is terrific news. So I'm glad to hear at least that they're being looked after properly, and I, I didn't really have any doubt that Princess would do that as well. Lastly, we have the Anthem of the Seas in New York City. If you remember, I mentioned their PR move where they said uh, you cannot cancel your cruise because if you do, all penalties will take into effect. Uh, so we're just, you know, we're just delayed. Don't worry about it. It's not a reason to cancel. And then they delayed leaving port for 24 hours. Uh, they were supposed to leave on Friday. They said, no, we'll leave on Saturday now out of Bayonne, New Jersey. Um, well, the ship is still there. Uh, because of the backlog of tests that are happening, uh, they can only really be done in certain areas of the country. Uh, it's going to be 24 to 48 more hours before the results of those tests are, the, are confirmed. They do, however, you know, suspect that it, you know, the only sickness on board was the influenza that was diagnosed. Um, and there is really nothing else, but they're not taking any chances. And now they're hoping that the cruise ship will sail early Monday morning on a revised itinerary. They will no longer go to the Bahamas. They're not going to go uh, out to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. They're going to go to Bermuda now. Uh, and the reasoning for that is how if they'd have left on Monday, they would have had arrived like at 3 p.m. or so at their port and then they would have had to leave early later on that night. It really would have been like almost just going out to sea and say, staying out in the water and then just coming back. So they wanted to at least get to a port where they could spend the day for the passengers who are going to go. So they have changed the itinerary and now they have also changed their refund policy. Surprise, right? Surprise. So uh, it went from a firm no to a, oh yeah, you know what? Maybe we're sorry <laughs> and now we're going to do this. <sighs> Just come out and do it, guys. It's so much easier and so much better press for you. I don't understand uh, sometimes, but uh, the ship will now, uh, if you decide to stay on board uh, with the revised itinerary and a shorter cruise, you will get a, an immediate 50% refundable onboard credit. So they'll put it on your account, you'll get the onboard credit, whatever you don't spend will come back to your card. So it's like cash, uh, but they'll put it on your shipboard account so you can see how much it is and go from there. Plus you will see receive a 50% future cruise credit uh, as well. So basically 100% of your cruise, plus you still get to go on like a three and a half, four day cruise. If you decide not to go, you will be issued a full refund. And here's the caveat, no questions asked this time. In fact, for one of the first times I've ever heard this, that if you don't, you don't even need to tell Royal Caribbean, 
If you don't show up for your cruise, the money will automatically be refunded to you. So you don't even have to try and reach Royal Caribbean. They're busy with phone calls because everyone's wondering what's going on with their next cruise and things like that. So yes, you can be on hold sometimes for an hour, hour and a half. And they're saying, if you don't show up, we will refund you your money automatically. And I've never heard of that actually. So that I will give praise to that. That's a good job, Royal Caribbean, on doing that. It does help ease some anxiety of people. And if the people decide to go on the cruise ship, that's terrific. You're out. Like I said, there is no firm cases on either the Westerdam or the Anthem of the Seas. They're making sure that there's no there's no problem. They're doing those tests. They're waiting for the test results. So yeah, if there's if there's no res, no tests come back positive, then I really don't see a problem with going on the cruise. If you decided to do that, the biggest problem that people are complaining about is that Royal Caribbean isn't helping them find hotels and things like that. And I go, you, you got to be proactive on this. You just can't call the cruise line and say, hey, uh, I, I just checked out of my hotel room. I got to the port. You, you guys need to find me a hotel. It, just be proactive. Call around, find a hotel <laughs> and book it yourselves. If you're trying to wait and go through the cruise line, it's going to take forever for you to do that. It's much faster. And I know a lot of people are very computer illiterate, if you will. They're not used to looking on apps for for hotels. They're not used to doing this, but it's very, very simple. If you open up Google Maps and you go to the city you're in and you zoom in, hotels will pop up right there. And for the date of that is today, and you will see prices right there in little red writings over top of every hotel. If you see one you like, you click on it on the left hand side of Google Maps, you'll see like seven different booking engines like booking.com and Expedia and all those. And you can click on there, see the price, you can book right on there. It's very, very quick, very, very simple. I do it all the time when I need to find a hotel and I'm someplace that I didn't, I was surprised I was gonna be there or I decided to stay an extra day or I decided to stay an extra week. <laughs> that has happened as well. So yeah, don't rely on the cruise lines to find you places and you know tie up their phone lines when people are trying to find out about their cruises and stuff. Be proactive, head out there and just do it. Book yourselves because the first people to book will get the premier rooms where you want to stay in the better areas and the other people are going to be someplace 10 miles away from the cruise port. So just, you know, <laughs> don't expect the cruise line to be able to find you a hotel. That's the, that's especially if you didn't book through them. If you book through them, that might be a different situation because you want your money back. Uh, if you if you're canceling your cruise, different story, but it's just kind of a mess, isn't it? It's just a kind of a mess everywhere out there. But um, at least there is a trickle of good news coming on. Like I said, so far the anthem of the seas, no no positive results so far. The Westerdam might be able to get off and disembark their passengers, and they've already canceled the next cruise. So hopefully we're seeing that downturn of problems with the areas and things can get back to normal. Well, I really want to start reporting on something. I have something, two big announcements that I wanted to do all week, all week. The video's made, it's all sitting there ready to go and I, I can't put it out because the stories keep changing. So <laughs> stay tuned, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Well, I hope you appreciate this news update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Go see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.